Farmers in semi-arid Botswana are reeling after the worst drought in a decade, wiped out entire harvests and left the land littered with dead livestock. Two-thirds of the crops planted last season failed while Ngami land, a rich beef producing region, has recorded nearly 40,000 cattle deaths. Ranger Kaspar Maateka says there was no food or water, so his animals starved to death. The goats die, as well as the cattle. As you can see, the carcasses all over. We were really affected. If only the government could subsidize the prices of feed and vaccines for the livestock during such time. The drought has not spared wildlife. National parks authorities have resorted to feeding starving hippos, while hundreds of elephants have died. The competition for food and water has increased the risk of human-wildlife conflict. Because the livestock are now putting pressure sorry, the, on to the wildlife areas. So the wildlife are also getting pressure on their areas that's moving. So that is where the conflict zone is. And I'm bringing that up because it, it's all interconnected with the drought. Is this human-wildlife conflict? Botswana's president, Mukwetsi Masisi, says the government plans to make drought relief funds a part of every national budget. Government has taken a decision to develop a drought management strategy which would classify drought as a permanent feature in our budget plans rather than an emergency. The strategy will be completed before the end of this financial year. Acting Director of Meteorological Services, Raditupa Raditupa says a robust strategy is needed to deal with the recurring droughts. We are looking at climate changes and impact now. We are seeing the impacts now in terms of the heat, in terms of the heat waves, in terms of the dry spells, in terms of excessive rain. Therefore, we need to really adapt as a nation. Meanwhile, a forecast for rain has raised hopes among farmers and rangers for recovery and that the season of severe drought won't be a total loss. Mkondisi Dube for VOA News, Mohamed Dubu, Botswana.